Pronunciation Pro. Pronunciation Pro. When I say like uh, without T, which is which without the negative, like I can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I can and I can. Sometimes they cannot hear me what I yeah. say. Yeah, this is a good example. And so in, uh, I think it's in module one or two, um, we have, I have, I have one specific lesson on just can and can't because this is such a problem. So what we want to do is when you're saying I can't do something, there's an emphasis or a stress on the negative. I, and so there's two different ways to kind of differentiate between can and can't. The first is can is going to be I can, can. There's kind of a kin, I can go, I can go, I can do that. I can, you know, there's, there's that more of a kin pronunciation. Whereas can't has that ah, can't, and we're gonna stress the word more. So for example, I can, I, I can go, I can't go. He, he can help. He can't help. So do those for me. I can go. I can't go. I can go. I can't go. Yeah, there you go. So you're getting that ah, and, they're, and you're emphasizing and stressing it and getting that T. He can help. He can't help. He can help. He can't help. Very nice. He can't help. So when you stress or emphasize a word, you're stressing, you're holding that vowel a little bit longer. Whereas this one is reduced. He can, he can help. He can help. He can help. He can't help. Okay. Your voice is important and needs to be heard. If you're ready to speak English clearly and with greater confidence, I invite you to start your free seven-day trial at pronunciationpro.com.